What's up everybody, it's Alex from everything for iPod, and today I'm showing you how you can change your mission control background. So you see when I go into mission control here in Lion, you see this little gray background in this area and you're going to be able to change that image. So it's pretty easy to do, you just need an image uh, to change it to and you want it to be pretty high quality. So I found one here, but before we get started, I just want to say I now have a gaming channel, youtube.com slash e4i gaming. I will also link it in the description. And um, I'm going to be doing lots of commentaries, gameplays, everything like that. So go check it out, please. And then also probably Tuesday or Wednesday on this channel, I will have an unboxing and test of a new capture card that just came out. So stay tuned for that. And also the Bose sound link that I unboxed. About a week ago, you will be seeing a review of that this week as well. School's letting out soon, so expect some more videos coming your way. So let's go ahead and get into this tutorial here. I found a background that I like called Flare. I'll put a link to this in the description. And I downloaded that, and I get all my wallpapers off of DeviantArt. I think it's a really great website, so there's that. And you're also, you may need to use something called Pick Resize, link to that in the description. And you also need to know your screen resolution because you actually need to have the exact size. So I am on a 2560 by 1440 display. So here I have the desktop images. Here's a whole folder of them. So here's a 2560 by 1600, but I'm on a 1440. So we need to resize that. And yes, you can do this in Photoshop if you know how to do it. But for those of you who don't have Photoshop, this is a really great online tool. So I figured I'll let everybody know how to use it and I will do it on a free online tool. So when you get here, resize your picture, make it custom size, and then make it the same resolution as this. So for me, I'm going to switch it to pixels and go 2560. And then the other one is 1440. Again, you want to make sure it's in pixels. Okay, and now when choose special effect, you can do something if you want, whatever's up to you. I don't want to do anything, but I want to save it as a JPEG and best quality. I'm done. Resize my picture. Really easy to do, and now I'm just going to click save to disk, and it will automatically download. And there it is. So that's out of the way. We can get rid of all this. Again, all three of those links I will put in the description. So here it is, right here. And now basically what I want to do is you want to go to your finder and if it doesn't say finder up here, you just want to click finder right there. So make sure finder is your selected application and then in the menu bar, click go and then go to folder and you want to type this in. Type this in. It's in the description if you need it, but slash system slash library slash core services and that will bring you to this folder. And then in here, we want to look for doc. So you see it right here. Here's doc. Right click on it and click show package contents. Then go into contents and then into resources. So here you see this default desktop. So that is the tile image that Apple uses. And there's a bunch of other stuff in here that is changeable, which maybe I'll go into um, in other videos. But for now, we're just doing this. But here's default desktop. So what we want to do is first name our image that we want to change it to the same exact thing. So default, oops, default desktop. And it doesn't matter if you got it as a JPEG. If you want to download it as a PNG on the website that we just cropped it on, that's okay. But if you didn't, you can just type PNG here and then use PNG. So now it's the same exact file name. So one thing I like to do real fast is take this image and back it up somewhere. In case you ever want to restore it, it's really great to back it up because um, you might be able to find the image somewhere online, but I just like to have it just in case I ever want to restore it and don't like the image that I have. So once you have it backed up somewhere, go ahead and just drag your new image in. You will have to auth authenticate the process and then click replace. And then just a simple type of your password will get it in there. And just because I like things to be cleaned, I'm going to clean it up. And now all you have to do is restart your computer. So unfortunately, I can't record while I'm doing that. But I will shut off the recording, restart it, and then turn it right back on. Alright, so my computer restarted and now I'm back here. And if I go ahead and go into Mission Control, 
you can see I have that new wallpaper. Now to me that just adds a lot more color. It just makes the whole experience of using Mission Control a lot nicer. Having that gray background just kind of looks too bland and I really like something to spice it up like this. And I think it real looks really nice. So I will be keeping mine this way and I really recommend you do it too. It's really easy to do and it makes your Mac look a lot nicer. If you want some more customization tutorials online let me know down in the comments below. But for now, that's it. Again, don't forget to check out my gaming channel, youtube.com slash e4i gaming. And stay tuned here for some more videos, including a capture card unboxing, review, and quality test, and the Bose Soundlink review all coming to you this week. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video if this helped you out. That's it for now. Don't forget to stay tuned, like I already said. And uh, I'll see you later, guys. Thanks.